How's it going, everybody? We're here at a, the newest project. There have been many, many very difficult projects done on this farm. All, all by the workers here at Farm Alive and, and, and the, the whole family. Volunteers, me, my wife, uh, people even staying here. It just kind of happens that way. This particular project, my wife and I were down here um, bathing. We were doing week-long fasts. And we were bathing down here and we noticed, you know, we just kind of had an idea. Wow, if we just kind of dammed up, you know, the stream a little bit, we could really make this into like a beautiful jacuzzi pools. And so that's exactly what we're doing. Um, right now in Costa Rica is dry season. It's April and we're going to be coming into rainy season starting up here in the beginning of May. And this is what they call a naciente. And if... We have to walk up here a little ways, and I don't know mm -hmm. if you can sure. if you can do that with me. Yep. But um, a naciente, Spanish for burst spring, which means water is just popping right out of the ground. Water, if you notice, if you see right here, and it's it's actually kind of trickling in. Well, not so much now because the water's being diverted. But this is actually a year-round stream, but very very slow. December, January, February, March, and April. Mm -hmm. But starting probably the middle of June the water's going to come gushing through here. And if you see, do you see any of that log up there? Mm-hmm. Well, water is popping right out of the ground. Wow. It's, it's a burst spring right there. So come rainy season, that water's just going to come gonna be nuts. really humming. And what we've done mm -hmm. is we tried to really improve the aesthetics of the area yep. with rock and a little bit of cement. Oh, so you moved all these rocks here. Yes, we've done at <gasps> wow. least 15 truckloads of rocks we've brought down here. That's Me, cool. Chris, Sam, um, just Pete, yeah, Wilco when he was here. I mean, mm -hmm. thanks to everybody because this, this has been a lot of work, a lot mm. of hard work. And what we've done is, is um, the guys, Henry and Beto okay. and Hilbert, yeah. they've um, designed this little rock, rock river where you've got rock here with a little bit of cement. The only reason why we put just a touch of cement in is so that the rocks during, stay there. they stay yeah. there and they don't fly down, hit one of these walls we've worked so hard on and then just crack yeah. it, Yeah. right? Don't want that to happen. No way. So we brought all these rocks in, kind of tightened them down with a little bit of cement. And so this water is going to come down here. We made a little bit of waterfall action right here. And it's going to come down right through this hole here, fill up the pool. So it's, and it's a cold pool, you mm -hmm. know, it's not, you're going to be, Hannah, you're going to be at Tabacon here in a few weeks where it's going to be absolutely awesome, and those are natural hot pools, but this is going to be a cold pool, and this water's going to fill up this jacuzzi, this jacuzzi is going to fit probably six to eight people, you yeah, have a nice. nice huge party in here. Mm. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? Yeah, it's doing a great job. And you can oh. see we brought, we brought all these stones in too, these flat stones are from our worker's dad's place oh, wow. at his river. So all these flat stones. The, the walls are from the beach. Oh, a special really? stone from the beach. So we're all, and um, you know, and this is my wife here with the artistic design and volunteer Lisa. And they've Hello. done an absolutely fantastic <laughs> job. Go team. I did some of it, but you don't want to see that section. It's the worst part. Oh, I'm sure it's Peanut. not. It's not, good. <laughs> it's not that good. Uh, but anyway, this wa the water's going to fill up this part. And then it's going to spill over, right? And to this beautiful waterfall, we're getting ready. The guys are actually forming the steel rebar right now. The guys are going to make a waterfall right here. Oh, wow. And then we're going to fill this little small little gully area here. Do you want me to come over? Yeah, come on over. Walk carefully. Yeah. Ooh. So with rock and cement, we're going to fill, you know, with this is going to be like a waterfall. So, you know, again, come June or July, the water's just going to come gushing down here. Mm. And then we're going to fill this area sort of the same as up there. So with more rocks. More rock, a yep. little bit of cement, some rock and cement filling, filling, filling. And then there's going to be a second, just a nice romantic two-person pool all the way oh, down there. Oh, another one. One more. Ooh. And it's going to be much smaller than this one. Yep. But really, really beautiful. Mm. Much smaller, a lot less more, work. More light there too, isn't there? More light, a little yeah. bit more light down there. And so people are really going to enjoy that one, I think, because the water's going to be moving that much faster yep. down at the second pool. And that one's going to be kind of a, just, a, like I said, a romantic two-person pool. Mm. We didn't realize how much work 
these these would yeah. be. Yeah. So we're gonna really reduce the size of the second one to mm -hmm. reduce mm -hmm. the work hours. How long have you been working on it for? Like how many hours do you think we spent? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Like when wow. did you first start I, we've it? Put, we put a lot of hours of work in this. Three weeks. We, three oh, weeks ago. Done a good job in that time. Yeah, yeah. We've really uh, managed to accomplish quite a bit. Mm. This first pool, this first section, will be done in the next couple of days. Wow, that's awesome. I mean, Lisa and Easy I have been it. down here maybe seven times. Yep. Doing four-hour days, and all we've done is just the rock here inside the pool. Mm. The dogs are gonna love it too, aren't they? The yeah. <laughs> the dogs love to swim. And and one of the prefaces. The re one of the reasons why we decided to do this is, is um, you know, it's water, right? Mm. We talked about it the other day as mm -hmm. one of the four piranhas. Yep. And when water's just popping out of the earth, just, what, I don't know, 40, 50 feet up, mm -hmm. right? It's just popping out of the earth underneath that big um, trunk right clean, there. Mm -hmm. Fresh, that, pure water. Yeah, I mean, it's so, so fresh, so clean. So if people can come in here, they can bathe naturally. Um, the water gets really structured in vortex as it hits these rocks too. It picks up the information and all the minerals in the rocks. Um, it's great for people that are fasting. This water will be easily drinkable. Mm. Um, so it's just that much healthier than taking a shower. Yeah. You know, like I was yep. saying the other day, when water hits metal pipe, it loses its structure. Mm -hmm. So you either have to restructure the water or try to find a way to get in natural water. Natural <laughs> water is extremely healing. Yeah. And... This is one way on our farm, if people come here for fasting or people just come here for bathing, mm -hmm. it's a one way of getting that natural prawn, that life force energy that mm. requires no energy to give you energy. Yeah. Right? Like we talked about yesterday with food. Mm -hmm. You know, raw food's awesome, but it does require energy to produce energy. Yeah. Sure. Air, water, earth, and sun require no energy to produce energy. Mm -hmm. And this is another energizing area on the farm using water. It's also like the example uh, in a car, fuel versus the battery. Mm -hmm. And the gasoline fuel is like food for us. But the battery is the prana, it's the sun, mm -hmm. the water, the air. It charges our battery. Sleep charges our battery.